Hey guys, how's it going? So, I had some very, very unfortunate mishaps with making this video. So I'm gonna try and get through this video fairly quickie, quick, quickie, <laughs> quickly. Um, because my last video I uploaded and it died at seven minutes. Like, the, it just stopped recording guitar tone for some reason. So you could only hear me just going on my strings, which was very annoying. Literally after I got to the MSL setting on this pedal. So, what is this pedal? Let's just get into that first. This is the JHS Bonsai. Very, very cool pedal. Uh, it is... Move my green screen there. It is, uh, let's see, one, two, three, four. I should have... I, I, I knew the answer, too, before. That. It's nine pedals in one. Nine boost pedals in one. So, it comes down to simply... What is that? Oh, that's my computer screen. It comes down to simply, do you want to invest in one pedal, which I believe is, uh, I should have got the price before, and I believe this pedal's a, uh, $199. Um, I'll double check the price. Don't quote me on that. I'll double check it as we end the video. But, essentially, it's either 200 or 250 bucks into one pedal, or do you want to buy nine different boosts? Some of these are so rare, though, that they have, like, a $400 price tag. I think it's the MSL or it's the XR. I can't remember. MSL, I think. I think it's the MSL that has, like, a $400 price tag on it, maybe, or something like that. So, mm, give or take a few. <laughs> so, half the price to get all these tones or what. Now, I will not be comparing these tones to any other pedals in this video. I will be comparing all these settings to each other. And essentially giving you my feedback. Uh, you'll want to check out the JHS one. It's super cool. Uh, very, very cool. So the JHS mod on this is awesome. But um, before we get into that, though, I am having a video coming out where I do compare it to my TS9, which looks weird on this because I have a green screen. So obviously it's see-through. Uh, but if I put it down here, very nice TS9 pedal. Gotta be very careful with the legs of my camera. So, I do compare the TS9s. That video will be coming out soon. Anyway, let's, uh, let's dial this pedal in and then play a little bit of music, right? So, let's see here. Let's uh, get the volume. This pedal, first pedal, is the OD pedal. OD1. The boss pedal. Um, I mean, it's the OG. I'll be playing it through a clean channel first so you can get a feel for the tone, then I'm gonna boost a metal sound at the end of it, and, uh, through all these settings, so you'll see. Now you'll notice, I'm turning this tone knob, and it's not working. Tone knob is deactivated on this setting, because the original OD1 did not have a tone knob, so it doesn't work. Anyway, and it'll say it right here, overall a brighter, slightly higher gain mode that does not utilize the tone knob. This mode inverts signal just like the original, has asymmetrical clipping. The OD1 is magical at boosting other drives or amps into singing saturation. So, you know, let's give it the old uh, classic rock feel, I guess, on this. I mainly do metal here, so forgive my lack of classic rock. <laughs> We can hear that singing into life there. I'll probably be using this riff for all of it, because why not? Now we go to the 808, and oh, by the way, here's the picture of the overdrive. That's what he, that's what he good old used to look like. Uh, so if you catch one of those, I think they're fairly cheap, actually. I think they're like 50 bucks if you find them used. So, you know, if you're buying this pedal just to get that tone, um, don't. <laughs> That'd be silly. Uh, next up is the TS-808, the classic low gain with that signature pronounced mid-range, so we'll switch it on over there, and just to kind of give a little bit of... And all these honestly just sound best with the tone knob up, in my opinion, so, you know, that's what we'll do in this video. So, let's, uh, let's give it a good old shot. I mean, you guys know what the 808 is. Do I need to really go over it? OD1, some people might not, which would be shocking.
But yeah, 808 does not need any explanation. Uh, and the cool thing about this pedal is just when you're doing this, it's all the actual circuitry that goes in. This is a, uh, what do you call it? This isn't a digital pedal. It's not like a digital emulator. It's an actual uh, analog pedal. That's what I mean to say. So when you switch this knob, it actually does switch to the circuitry of what is supposed to be next. And of course, you know, your 808 is this. Coming up on the TS9 here, which is what I have. Mine's slightly darker. If you notice, look at how green that is. Mine here is slightly darker. The reason being is because it is a turbo. And they make them a little, like this dark hunter green. The camera does not do this one justice. It captures the green off this perfectly. I don't know what it is, though, about the darker green. My camera's not wanting to see it. It is a beautiful dark green that I actually prefer over this color. Don't get me wrong, I like the booger green or the, the, the uh, neon green, whatever. But I just really like a hunter green. I, I, I don't know why. I just do. You know what I mean? So here we go. that sound a lot the ts9 is probably one of my all-time favorites just uh, very original of me right um now the difference between that is nearly identical ts808 but a mid rate just slightly pushed mid-range so you know then we got the metal screamer setting i have never heard this pedal before and i believe it's very expensive i'm not 100 percent sure um i don't know i think it's only expensive I, I i don't know the price i don't know what people are buying them for um, I'll have to look into it probably, but I, I like this one a lot. Um, and it's, it's very interesting. It's definitely very interesting. Metal's in the name, doesn't quite inspire the modern metal gen sound, of course. Uh, still it has a gain sound with more low end and overall gooier feel. Um, I guess we'll see if we feel some goo. <laughs> know about uh i don't know how to describe gooey so maybe it does <laughs> i could not tell you guys if it's gooey or not it sounds like more uh of the guitars coming through but it sounds fatter as well so uh whatever floats your boat you know i like it though it it, it, it boosts well it boosts well i i'm i'm giving you guys i think it's important to get the actual tone of this through a clean amp so you know um but yeah just so you really know the different characteristics, they come out better. When you're just boosting an amp, you're not going to hear it nearly as well as if you are pushing this through a clean channel. So, anyway, uh, next one is TS-10, made famous by John Mayer. This model from the late 80s is a slight upgrade from TS-9. Bluesy and crisp, has more low-end, roll-off, and low-gain. Okay. Um, the way huge... Uh, I, I, it's too far away from me. I'm not grabbing it right now. <laughs> but the way huge Angry Troll, awesome pedal, apparently was one of John Mayer's favorites as well. So, maybe I ought to compare the TS-10 to the Angry Troll, because I wonder if he modeled the Angry Troll after it, but the Angry Troll's crazy different, too. The Angry Troll's like a linear boost, so we'll just, y'all may want to check out the video on that. So, anyway, uh, TS-10. Looks like this, looks just like the metal one, but, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, let's hear that. <laughs> I don't know that I can replace the TS9 with it, to be honest. I really don't know that the TS9 is a... I love the TS9 a lot, so, you know. Not a dig at this pedal. I'm sure it captures this TS10 just fine. I'm just not as big of a fan of the TS10, honestly. Now, the XR. Now, this is a very interesting pedal. I'm going to have to zoom in, then zoom back out, because this... Oops, wrong button. This expands all of them yeah very strange exar overdrive so there's more of a explanation let me go back to 100 percent. so when i click out of this um the xr is a polish made uh tube screamer style pedal that has slightly different drive character with a little more gain than the classic screamers as well as a slightly more transparent feel so 
Kind of like what I was talking about with the MSL feeling a little more transparent. I guess. Maybe. I guess we'll see when we uh, do this. <laughs> Yeah, I guess I could see what they mean by more transparent feel. Um, but all in all, uh, it's it's an interesting pedal. I don't know that I would necessarily use that. Now, the TS7, this is a cool pedal. I do like the TS7. Uh, the hot mode on this version gives you the highest gain sound in Bonsai. More low end and dirt fill out of the tone. You are now free... Uh, to shred away. So we'll check out a little bit of that here. Apparently, yeah, it's on the hot mode here versus TS9. Apparently they captured just the hot mode in this version, so you don't actually have the regular TS7. Well, I guess the TS7 is a TS9. Interesting. I actually did not know that. Huh. So yeah, you go over to hot mode and it's TS7. They should have called it TS7 then TS9, but why? Why'd they go backwards on a number? Why didn't they make it the TS11 or something like that? Very strange. <laughs> we'll, let's check it out, okay? Uh, we'll have a little bit of fun. Maybe I'll shred a little on it. Yeah, I'm not going to pretend that was my finest work or anything like that, but hey, you know what? It is very, 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 like, man, that is... Yeah, you actually could get some heavy tones out of it. Like it's like Budget Zack Wild. <laughs> yeah, let's call it that, Budget Zack Wild. Um, so yeah, and then the final one is... Well, not the final one. Never mind. I'm not on the final one. I got the Keeley mod. Now, I don't know if this is a Keeley mod of a TS-808 or a TS-9. I assume TS-808, but, you know, how am I supposed to know? It is his mod um, giving you smoother mid-range high frequencies and increased bass response. So I think it's the 808, but the TS-9 is so close too. And when you mod any one of them like this, I imagine they would both sound like this. So... I couldn't tell you. Let's, uh, test it. Of course, the Keeley mod is just killer. Because it's always been killer. Everyone has swooned over the Keeley mod. Now, the final one, of course, is the JHS pedal. Now, the good thing about this is, is it's only a hundred bucks if you were to get it without the bonsai. So if you're buying this pedal just for the JHS mod, don't, because you can get their actual one that's just the, the one pedal. And this one is awesome. It's a louder one. Uh, they call it their strong mod. Their own mod they've been doing since 2008. Much cleaner, overall more powerful. This mod has more pronounced high gain and low end drop-offs. Again, don't know if it's an 808 or if it's a TS9, but... Eh, who cares? It sounds good, so let's uh let's go into it, right? <laughs> I like using this mode the most for a metal boost, which we'll get into. I'm going to rapid fire through all of these, uh, playing that same riff so you can hear the difference pretty side by side. I'll see how fast I can go without screwing this up.
in all, uh, I have three real favorites on here. It has to be either the TS9, the TS7, or the JHS mod, honestly. And when it comes to this pedal specifically, I actually do prefer the JHS mod. And as a matter of fact, I almost... If they didn't have the two cool ones on there that I would just... I don't know, that I would keep. Or the, the two ones that were really, really rare. I probably would just get rid of this and get the JHS Strong Mod pedal. Just because I'm... I collect a lot of boosts now. <laughs> so, I probably will have a lot of these OGs on here. I'm gonna get anyway. Um, now, one thing I want to give a spoiler on for my next video, or from the video coming out when I compare the two on tone-wise. I hear a little bit of a difference in tone slightly, and I don't know what it is to be specific. Um... But I do know one thing, this pedal is slightly noisier than the TS9. So, than my TS9, I don't know why that would be. Barely noisier, but it is a little noisier. So, anyway, let's get through some metal chugging, and I'll go through each one on that as a boost. I like to keep my gain right at 9 o'clock, because it adds a little flavor. And I will rapid fire through all these, and just kind of give some chugs i know this isn't the most exciting metal video but uh you know just wanted to really show the characteristics of this as much as i can So anyway, <laughs> that's how uh, how to boost with this pedal anyway. Like I said, there's a reason why I like that JHS mod for a metal boost, and that is because it boosts just slightly louder, and it's a little bit um, more open, I guess you could say. So I really like using that on this pedal a lot. Otherwise, I usually turn it down to the TS9 setting. The TS7 for a metal boost can be a little too saturated, you know. <laughs> Do how that gain cleans up? But, as for that TS7, it's, uh... And I can sink that drive down a little bit more, but... You can still just hear it. It's very prominent, so... You know, it's a little bit too much for that. If I turned the gain down on my amp, I'm sure it'd be fine. But it has just a little too much for me, but... I do love the TS7 still, and I need to get me one, if it's not ridiculously expensive. I haven't looked into all the prices. So, oh, yes, yes, yes. Now the Bonsai, though. Uh, I do want to, I should have just put this up. 250, okay. I thought so. You can get them used for about 200. They are 250. Um, so, honestly, like I said, if you're wanting to get any one of those pedals, most of the time they're going to be cheaper than this pedal. But if you're looking to get all nine of these pedals, and you want to pretty much demo them before making a decision on any of them, this is the cheaper route to go, and it's very accurate from what I've heard in Josh's video when he compares them. But because I like science, and because I like playing guitar and making videos, I'm going to try and compare them to as many of these as possible. I don't know that I could get a hold of some of the pedals that Josh has. I'm not going to try if it's too much. I am not a big YouTuber, and I am not made of money, so 
you know, maybe that'll come one day. Uh, <laughs> this, this video will come, my, my video will come out when this is completely irrelevant. They stop making this pedal and do different things or something, I don't know. Whenever they figure out how to make such an insane boost that they don't even need this pedal anymore. <laughs> that's when my video will finally come or something like that. Uh, who knows? Uh, so hopefully it's not 10 years from now, but yeah. The, uh, as for this with the TS9, I can promise it is coming soon. As soon as, um, I'll, I'll, I'll be trying something different, so, you know. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I am sorry that my first video corrupted. Um, very annoying. Very, very annoying. And this video turned out to be just as long as the last one. I couldn't shorten it up anymore, so. Thank you guys for being patient, checking it out. And for those who didn't enjoy the video, I'm sorry, but, uh, probably nothing else I could do. I don't know. Maybe there is something I could do. Comment anyway. Tell me why you didn't like it. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all in the next one. Later.